Microbiotic terrorism, AI generated MBTs. What is it? How does it work? Join me for a very special episode of the AI organization. This is Cyrus A. Parsa with the AI organization. This is the AI show. We begin with microbiotic terrorism, AI generated MBTs. Uh, it is a term I coined in early 2019. I submitted a brief to the Secret Service explaining what MBTs are, what it contains um, a few months afterwards. Microbiotic terrorism includes uh, little drones such as what the WIS Institute has with RoboBees or DARPA uh, with cybernetically enhanced um, insects, all sorts of different insects that you can put machine packs inside them in their spinal cords and manipulate their flight. Or, or the beetles you, you saw I put out on some of the tweets um, that were manipulated in Singapore. However, in China, they're using them for policing, even for the purpose of assassination. So microbiotic terrorism just doesn't include these, these drones. It also includes uh, things that crawl the walk. So insect drones is not the only thing, like mosquitoes. It, it can be cockroaches. It could be anything that swivels around. So Festo, uh, it, it's a company out of Germany, they create many different kinds of animals some are like snakes they can go through um, they can go through even your toilet your water and different kind of things they can be small or they can be big the other thing about microbiotic terrorism is it includes viruses like the COVID-19 or nanoparticles that are that are AI engineered um, very very difficult to see so microbiotic terrorism can actually be AI governed, engineered, and automated with robotics or even on a digital platform. An array of different things that interconnects quantum technology on the 5G network, nano, nanobots, <sighs> robo bees, insect drones, and an array of different things that can be used for assassination human targeting capabilities, policing, or even tagging some people with certain certain elements uh, that they don't want to be tagged with. Microbiotic terrorism, whatever tool it's using, you can put facial recognition on it. You can put voice recognition on it. You can put, you can put human detection apparatus, which could detect heat, could use LIDAR systems, could uh, use spatial awareness. So basically know where you are, if you're breathing, if, uh, what your heartbeat is, an array of different things. And it's very, very dangerous because the big tech companies, not only in the, in, in the West, but the Chinese communist regime is attempting to weaponize uh, these, these different elements. And what they have done is extract all, all the know-how from not only our, our military, from IP theft. They've done it in open source through um, Harvard, through Wisconsin, through Dar DARPA, uh, multiple different uh, tech companies, including Festo out of Germany. So we're in a bit of a trouble, of course, uh, more so with the Chinese Communist regime, because in this country, at least we have uh, the Secret Service, we have the FBI, we have the CIA. Uh, we have, however if your feeling may be against these institutions, um, there are a lot of good men and women who are in these institutions. And we are, we are in need of these institutions to be able to protect the American people and the world's people in a sense. So there's MI6, German um, intelligence agencies, a lot of different countries has, has, have intel agencies. The danger really, the major danger comes firstly from the Chinese government, Chinese Communist Party. They're the biggest threat to the world. As I put in my book, I said that the world's in danger um, via China as it connects to big tech. 
Chinese Communist Party in stages, which includes not just enslavement, like an Orwellian state, but it includes extinction in, in stages in the next 20 years from, from multiple different things. One is this microbiome terrorism, which attaches to uh, viruses and, and nanobots and different entities that you can be tagged with. I recommend everybody to read the book Artificial Intelligence Dangers to Humanity. It's one of the it's probably the greatest book on artificial ever written on artificial intelligence. And you could read AI books in the next 20 or 30 years, and I'll tell you this. You'll never come close to a book like this. It's over a 10,000 page book, zip file in about 200 something pages with pictures. There's there are layers and layers of inner meaning in this book. Layers and layers. Each sentence can be hundreds of pages uh, because I sequenced it um, by using certain methods that from the beginning to the end, there are inner meanings as you're reading and you think back to page one or sentence this and sentence that. It's very sophisticated. Just don't look at the surface. The surface itself even has 50, 50 companies and, and t talks about the dangers that these companies have and, and, and the reach, the capacity, and what type of uh, tools they use. Uh, and the misuse, the risk of uh, the misuse of, uh, of these, of, of these, um, of these uh, companies and, uh, and their and their technology that they they're bringing out to the public, which actually stem from uh, DARPA. DARPA uh, is is the arm of the military, which you know we, we do need uh, weapons to defend this country from multiple different things. Um, the the U.S. needs to defend itself from the Chinese government or any rogue entity. So. There are certain things that are needed by DARPA. However, some of the things that they've worked on, you know, maybe it could be out of their hands in the future. So they, they may want to think things more, more clearly or uh, put more risk assessment protocols into what they're creating or what they're extracting from the public because it could endanger the world of many different things. But the key is, the most important thing I'm trying to point out is uh, not anything to do with this country. <laughs> In a sense, I'm, the most important thing is the Chinese Communist Party because they endanger all the world's citizens. They're very, very sinister, and they don't care about human life. Uh, the United States has a constitution, and the Founding Fathers have put many things in play that are to be protected they're supposed to be protected by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, by even the CIA, by the Secret Service, by DHS, um, by the Justice Department. All, all these um, agencies, including our, our Congress and our Senate, um, they are beholden to the Constitution. And it's a really a genius um, 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 creation. I'll talk about it in another, in another show, but uh, I highly recommend everybody uh, understand how dangerous the Chinese Communist Party is and what they've done to the world's people and, and not just with this virus but they've extracted your biometrics they've done so many different things and imagine all these uh, microbots and having swarm technology which they do and what they could do on a 5G network when they connect uh, Huawei the great systems on the BRI one by one road connecting Africa the Middle East Europe um, of course the Far East and they can challenge the United States in, their, in different ways. So I, I highly recommend everybody really, really take take a stand on the Chinese Communist government, and we all expose this government, this, com this communist government. We expose them for what they are, and their human rights atrocities that, that they're guilty of. So that the whole world points at them, and they can put, they can stop what they're doing and and, and dissolve their their party. Subscribe, like, uh, share, follow me on Twitter, Cyrus A. Parcel One, uh, IG, the same thing. Uh, I'm I'm supportive of, of a lot of ethical values on the conservative side. Same time, I respect the liberals as well. I, I, I'm trying to be a mediator in between in between the both the two actually. Um, that being said, I, I'm more towards the Constitution and and what makes co what's common sense. Uh, we've reached. A, an age of AI, 5G, robotics, and we need to stop having conflicts. Really, really important. Thank you for joining this episode. Uh, you can download the book from from our website, or you can go to Amazon and get a gay paperback. Uh, donation are needed. Uh, I've put a lot of work out there, so even if it's small or big, please donate. Uh, there's a PayPal link below, and the, and also you can go to the, the AI organization.com. 
It's much needed. Thank you very much. Cyrus A. Parsa, The AI Organization.